be done about it. You know, why why have one ordinance without the other? Uh, I we have since I've been on the council, it hasn't been discussed. I'd be happy to bring it up to the council or to the legislative committee and see if they'd be interested in revamping the ordinance. So all the leaves go on to my yard. Yeah, I understand. I'm stuck with them. Yes. I have a question about the Route 30 um, by 55 truck stop that used to be there. What's going on with that area? Um, there was a project that was supposed to come in that may be on hold. Um, and it actually, the, the, the truck stop property, half of it, it belongs to the Plainfield, half belongs to the city of Joliet. Okay. Plainfield thought they had a major retailer coming in, and that may not happen now. So um, right now, there is nothing on the books for that, for that piece of property. Yes? Yeah, what the city does with JJC, like with the development downtown, there's this, we can waive permit fees along those lines, and we do, I think, work with the junior college in that, in that manner. As far as the city actually paying for tuition, I don't think not, that... Not paying tuition, just helping out a little burden. Well, I, I think we do help the college a lot. As I said, Joliet Junior College and St. Francis are great community partners with Joliet. We have a great relationship, and we're, we're constantly working with the two. Um, I think if you could speak better, but, but economically, the city and the junior college do work together. Yes? Uh, my name is Natalia Martinka, and I work at JVC. I teach economics in the business department. And I was wondering if you could summarize your speech and all the current, good current, and future trends that you described during your speech in terms of jobs. What kind of jobs our students should expect to be available in Joliet? This year, next year, in three years, and what kinds of skills do you think students should develop right now in order to be competitive for those jobs? Well, I, thank you. It's a good question. Number one, um, obviously, I talked about everything to the south, a lot of logistic jobs, but Joliet Junior College is ahead of the curve. They've, they've established a, a program for careers in logistics, not careers in factory work or warehouse work, but in logistics. That's a new market that is, is, exists in Joliet, and it's going to continue to come because of what, what the city, where the city lies. We have two rail spurs in Joliet, we have a river, and we have two major highways that run through the city. So this inland port, which is the largest in North America, is going to continue to grow. There are definite jobs and careers available out there. Furthermore, I know um, the Chamber of Commerce is constantly <coughs> doing job exposition, job fairs. You know, Harris Casino did a job fair several months ago. They can't fill the jobs at Harris Casino. So where I see the city growing, it continues to grow in the south. Mm -hmm. We talked about the Cullinan project, but I, I think there are careers available outside of, of, of the logistic jobs that are coming in. And I think any, um, I think service-oriented jobs are probably always going to exist in one way or another. Again, I talk about police and fire, but I think any service-oriented job, I know you have a great nursing program here. Um, you know, personally, I think those jobs are always going to be in demand. It would be a great way for young people looking to go. Yes? So building off of your question, a lot of us are here because it's cheaper to go to JJC and then transfer out. What do you think JJ or Joliet's ability to retain um, students that graduate, get their associates, or to bring back students that just got their bachelor's or master's at a different college? Well, I think that's crucial. When I talked about um, corporate headquarters coming in, like Cadence, I, that's exactly what we're talking about. Um, we want those level jobs coming into Joliet. Joliet's it's kind of blue collar community. It still is a blue collar community. What's happening to the south are a lot of blue collar jobs. 
we're looking for more than that. We want to diversify what's coming in. I, I point to Cadence as one success story, but we're <coughs> cognizant at City Hall that there needs to be more. <coughs> yes? Hi, Mr. Mayor. Eric Doris, uh, mm -hmm. resident of the East Side. Uh, my family's been here for three generations. Um, I am wondering about, is there any movement to make a cultural plan for the city of Joliet? I know that there's been a lot of development downtown with the Rialto and the colleges moving in, yes. but do we have a major um, idea or some kind of brainstorming group that is thinking about arts and culture in Joliet? Um, not directly related with the city. I know there's a number of groups. For example, we, um, with, with, the, with the streetscape for Chicago Street, they're putting together a committee for people to help with the redesign of Chicago Street. Um, there's, there's a state, there's a public arts um, uh, foundation that's located downtown that receives grant money from the state to allow the public art you see throughout Joliet. No, there is not a branch within City Hall for cultural purposes, but again, I know, I think the junior college, junior college may dip into that, and I, I, I guess with the culinary school, and I think, um, uh, St. Francis does also, but no, not within city government. May I follow up question? Sure. Um, do you think it would be a possibility or would you consider creating a city-sponsored cultural plan like the one Chicago has? I think, um, I think it's something the city would absolutely partner up with it. I don't know if that would ever be a branch of city government. Okay. But certainly, like we work with other entities or with the city set of partnership, I know the city would work with that. Great, thank you. Yes. Okay. Um, I'm Jerk Martinez. I'm from the co-editor of the Blazer newspaper. <clears throat> According to Electricity Local, the average electricity rate in Joliet is 79.16% uh, less than the national average rate, while the Illinois' average consumption of uh, electricity is ranked uh, third in the United States. Uh, do you see this trend continuing with uh, recent EPA rollbacks? I, you know, I don't know. I do know that we are converting a lot of our street lights to LED lighting, which will absolutely reduce the cost, and, and it's, it's, it's a green way to go. Less energy will be used. Um, the city doesn't own all the street lights within the city. ComEd owns probably about 70% of them. The city owns 30%. We actually just this week at, at the Public Service Committee, we're talking about doing an inventory to find out exactly who owns what lights, because we don't have that right now, and converting all that we can to LED lighting which absolutely will reduce the energy being used in Joliet. Yes? Question, Mr. Mayor. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, I know you said you, you know, you're in the works of building a new train station. Will that come along along with getting new, more pace buses in the community as well and surrounding communities? Yeah, it, it, I talked about a multimodal center that, that encompasses Amtrak, um, Metro, High Speed Rail South, and the Pace Bus Service, it was all being redone in the downtown area. But, and I know um, Pace has expanded service going further south to get people out to the jobs that are out to the Amazon, the Ikea, the, the warehouses. So yeah, uh, Pace is a good partner with the city, and it has been um, expanded, and I'm sure it will be in the future. Mr. Mayor, when are you going to, uh, I'm a contractor here in Joliet. I, as a matter of fact, I'm on my third generation of inspectors in Joliet. When are we going to start getting down on all these fly-by-night contractors that don't pay business license? There's a lot of garages that in Joliet that are doing auto mechanics that don't pay a business license. I mean, these are all home-owned businesses, and they're, 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 they're working right out of their garage in the neighborhood. Right. That's, it's an ongoing problem. And, and I mean, it's something the city's constantly addressing people that are trying to, to, to skirt the system. It's, not, it's never going to stop, but we do address it. If you have a specific, you let me know. We'll get neighborhood services on it, and they'll they'll deal with it appropriately. Yes. What's a five to ten year future plan for the Rialto? That's a good question. Um, the thing, well, I, I think the new board that's been put in place is outstanding. They're all professionals, um, I, I, so I, I think they are moving in the right direction. I think the five year contract that was just signed with Venue Works was a positive. There needs to be some stability at the theater to allow venue works to do the work they're going to do, start booking shows. I think ultimately the Rialto is going to need another committed source of funding. I don't think the theater is going to stay open on ticket sales. Um, I think the challenge for the city, for that board, and for, for a committee that I put together is to identify where that funding is going to come from so they know they have X amount of dollars to help them operate every year. Yes? Uh, regarding the column and project, a um, couple of quick questions. First of all, do you ride a bicycle? Ever? Oh, once in a while. Oh. <laughs> how, would you get, how would you get from shore with the Joliet? Right now? 
you have a hard time. Right. Exactly. You have to take Prop 52 or Black Road or um, State Farm Road to get from one side to the other, or to go south on Fairway with Prop 580 to get to the bike trails over here. If all the project is successful, which I certainly hope it would be, it would affect the north boundary of our campus here. And uh, I hope that you would consider putting in some sort of a pedestrian bicycle crossing over I-55 that goes along with that that new bridge that connects Sile and County Farm Road. Um, because I think a lot of students might be able to make use of it. Faculty here, staff here might be able to make use of it. And just in general, to be able to get to the new facility at Colony. Yeah, I, I think it's a good idea. And just so you know, what's also being contemplated are two roads from that site cutting through to Hobo Road, one north of the college, one south. So I, I do think bike path, paths are necessary. I think Will County was talking about a bike path on Black Road over the expressway. Don't quote me, but I, I know that's been talked about. I'm not sure where that's at. Thank you. Okay. Okay, so we have a motion second. Yes. Are there any new or excited, like revolutionary ideas that you would like to bring to the city, such as like some form of clean energy? Like I know that there are some cities in Arizona that are converting their like most of their houses to have solar panels. Yeah, I, I mean, we, there are private individuals that do that. I think one thing that, that the city I, I'd love to do in the next couple of years is investigate. Other cities are converting all their fleets to. Um, it's not natural gasoline, gas. I'm not sure what the Natural they, gas. Natural gas, thank you. Um, would it be effective on an ambulance or on a police car? Because um, we have a lot, of, a lot of vehicles in the city. That's one thing I'd like to see done in the city. As far as something new or revolutionary, it's funny you say that. We had a group uh, come forward, we're still working with them, they're from, from Colorado. They wanted to open a business incubator in downtown Joliet. And I'll be frank, the first couple times we met them, I couldn't understand what they were talking about. But um, we actually, myself and, and the city manager and a councilman took the trip out to Colorado, saw what the, exactly what they're doing. This is a cutting edge idea, um, and it's one that we're trying to see if it would be a fit for Joliet. We were excited that this national group, and they, they were Silicon Valley people involved, and they were smart people um, that we met with, but that they targeted Joliet as being an area. One, because of the intermodal project and the access from the, the trains in downtown Joliet was one of the reasons why they had identified Joliet. So it would be revolutionary. It's difficult to explain. Has anyone heard of the Internet of Things? Okay, they threw that term around, and, and, and someone can explain to me more time. I still won't understand it. But, um, yeah, it, it, this is cutting edge of what they're talking about doing, and it would be a real step forward. It, it'd be a regional project if it came to Joliet, because this is something that just doesn't exist in the region right now, or not of any significance. Any other questions? Oh, yes, sir. Yep. Yes, it, it's going to be a toll bridge for, for trucks to get in and out of the intermodal. Question. Yes. Are you giving all these, these companies that are reinventing you? you have, I'm sure you're giving them some kind of incentive as far as real estate taxes and stuff like that. What about the regular homeowners here in Joliet? Where, where does that benefit us, giving all these big companies the, uh, the tax incentive to come in? Well, I mean, we, there's not a set plan. We work with each company individually because you don't want to give away the farm. But I think you saw it in the numbers I just, I just read off. The economic development, the money that this is generating, the jobs that are coming in the area, benefit people like you that are homeowners. Because for the first time in eight years, your home value went up. So uh, you're, it's trickling down, taxes. but it's beginning separate entity. We, we, don't, we don't set taxes, that's, that, that's the assessor. But your home increasing in value is a good thing for you and for everyone in Joliet. And it's a direct benefit from what's happening, from all the economic development that's happening in the city. What about all the slum lords, the slum landlords all around me? Well, like I said, we have neighborhood services. If you have addresses, contact the city. They'll get on those people. Anybody else? Oh, good. Well, thank you very much. It was a great forum. Thank you. Very much.